you know, God is amazing, right? He made everybody, but he knows that the, there's a ruler in this world named Satan who influences people. So what he did was he, he started warning men, actually. He warned, this is a, a man that he warned. In the book of Proverbs 6, 24 to 26, he says, keeping you from your neighbor's wife, from the smooth talk of a wayward woman, do not lust in your heart after her beauty or let her captivate you with her eyes. For a prostitute can be, uh, can be had for a loaf of bread, but another man's wife preys on your very life. What is saying, stay away from wayward women. Stay away from women who do smooth talking. Hey, baby, how you doing? Stay away from that. Stay away from that. The world, the women of the world are too wayward. Stay away. And it also says in, in um, chapter 7, verses 7 through 10, it says, I'm actually going to go straight to verse 10. You can read the other one by yourself. Verse 10 says, then out came a woman to meet him dressed like a prostitute with crafty intent. There are so many women who says, I'm not a prostitute, but they dress like a prostitute. We know prostitutes are people who expose themselves, who are always naked, who shows everything because they're advertising their bodies. How many, I'm not trying to insult any woman out there, please. I'm a woman myself. And like I said, I'm going to say things that you may not like me, but the scripture says it. How many prostitutes do we have walking on the street who says they're not prostitutes, but because of how they're dressed? And then they wonder why they're getting attentions of certain people. Why are the, the right suitors not coming their way? Look, a man will come after you, have sex with you, do all this crazy stuff with you, and go out, meet someone for a month, get married to them, and then you start crying. How are you carrying yourself? So the Bible was telling, God was telling us, stay away from people like that. Stay away from people like that. And there's so many other warnings in the book of Proverbs chapter 7, it says, she is unruly and defiant. Her feet never stay at home. She's unruly and defiant. Her feet never stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, at every corner, she lurks. There are so many people who are loud, unruly, defiant. You're loud. You're rebellious, you're stubborn. As a woman, this should not be your trait. That is the trait of women of the world. If you want to be a godly woman, don't be loud. When I say loud, I'm not saying that every time you go place, you'd be like, hello, hi, my name is this. No, it doesn't mean being naive. It doesn't mean being timid. But you will know a loud people. You will know a loud person. We know those type of people. I'm not even gonna go there. But that's woman, that's a woman of the world. And even if they're not loud vocally, their dressing is very loud. They dress so provocative, wearing all manner of crazy things. Their nails, look, I'm not against you doing all that. It's amazing stuff. But their nails look like, you know, they're like claws, like literally. I'm like, how, you, how do you even wipe your butt? Like, how do you cook? How do you clean up? How do you do that? All manner of crazy stuff. She's unruly and she's defiant. She dresses loud. She's always arguing. Now in the street, now in the squares, at every corner she lurks. If you are a godly woman, you should not be found at every single corner. It's not every place you should go. It's not everywhere you should go. But this, the women of the world, they're found everywhere. Her feet never stay at home. She must be in everything. She must be found in everything. She must be involved in everything. If she's not involved in something, Something is wrong. Or she feels like, oh, they're not inviting me. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Okay. As a godly woman, you're not meant to be everywhere. You are rare. Remember that you are rare. Who can find you? You are rare. People that, you know, you know, if diamonds were everywhere, people will not really treasure them. They won't treasure them because it's so common. That's what women of the world are. They're too common. And it says at every corner she's there, she's always meddling. Every time you find her, she's either gossiping, she's searching for news. What happened? What's the new gist? What's going on? What happened? Did you hear this? She, 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 she preys on people. She's looking for news somewhere. That is what women of the world 
do. You are not a woman of the world. Amen. Verse 13 says, she took hold of him and kissed him. And with a brazen face, she said, now let me go back. So like I said, we're reading from um, chapter seven, verses seven through 27. And I read this, then I'll go back to verse 13. It says, I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young men, a youth who had no sense. People, what this is saying is that the, the guy that will follow such a girl is a simple guy, meaning foolish. The word simple here means you're foolish. A guy that will go after a woman like this is foolish. I noticed among the young men, young here can also mean sometimes I like to take as maturity, a youth who had no sense. You're stupid. You're a fool to go after such a woman. He was going down the street near her corner. So this guy on purpose went to go find the woman walking along in a direction of her house at twilight. That means late at night. Why are you there that a guy can come and find you at such a place like this? As the day was fading, as the dark of night set in, there are so many people that men are treating you like roaches. They only want to see you at night. They only want to come out at night. Then verse 10 says, then came, then out came a woman to meet her. So she came out to meet him, dressed like a prostitute with crafty intent. And then we spoke about 11 and 12. She's unruly and defiant. So now it begins to describe who she is. Her feet never stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, at every corner, she lurks. Then verse 13 says, she took hold of him. She like literally took hold of him and kissed him and with a brazen face, she said. Before going to say, I'm a woman that is shameless. A brazen person is a someone that is shameless. You have no dignity. You are so forward. You know, people like, I say what I want to say. I'm bold. I'm not scared to say my mind. Honey, shut up. You are so brazen. Hey, I was dreaming of you last night. Hey, I was just thinking about you. Hello. I have a friend who received a text message at 11 p.m. ish. And a young lady said, this is so crazy, but I just had a dream that you, that, you know, I had a dream about you, that you, you, you pulled up. I'm just like, it's like past 11 something and you're sending a guideless text. Even if you had a dream, keep it to yourself. But this woman, she is shameless. Women of the world, they're shameless. They're so loud. They say whatever that comes to mind. They're so forward. They're the type of people who will kiss on the first date. Miles Monroe said, lady, let him chase you so hard that <laughs> let him chase you in order for you to get me you got to be like jesus chase me they're too easy this lady came and held this man and just kissed her kissed him they're too easy there's no discretion about her then verse 14 through 21 tells us you know she said remember in verse 13 with a brazen face she said today i fulfilled my vows and I have food for my fellowship offering at home. Did you see this? She just like, she just came from fellowship, right? Let's say she came from church, whatever. And so I came out to meet you. I looked for you and I found you. I have covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with mirth, alloys, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deeply of love till morning. Come, let's have sex till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. Verse 19. My husband, so this is a married woman, which is even worse. My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. Full moon is like a month. He won't be home till a month from now. With persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. Worldly women are people that, that talk smoothly. They're so persuasive, so uh, conny. A good woman tells you straight up. A good woman will talk to you straight. She's not gonna go and be like a snake, bending, bending, just to go to one subject. That's what worldly women do. She talks straight up. And if he refuses, she's gonna be upset. But uh, you know, the Bible says that he didn't refuse, but she would have been upset. She would have been upset. A worldly woman, whenever she doesn't get her way, she just have an attitude, have an attitude. And I know we all go through this, 
but thank God for enlightenment. Amen. Verse 22 to 27 says, all at once he followed. Now this doesn't really do it justice because it took a while before he followed, but all at once he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose till an arrow pierces his liver like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. Anyone that follows a woman like this is heading to destruction. Anyone that follows a woman. So God is literally warning us. He's warning this young man not to be, not to follow a woman like that. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Many are the victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death. Anyone who is like this, everyone that comes your way, you're leading them to destruction. You're leading them to death. If you are a shameless woman, a forward woman, someone that's brassened, someone who has no dignity, Everyone that comes your way, you're leading them to death, literally. You're out to destroy. And then what happens after you finish this one, you go to the next one. Because the Bible says many have come. Many are the victims of her. So that means after she finishes one, she goes to another one. There's so many. So God is telling us, do not be like this woman. Don't be like this woman. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. But then God tells us in Proverbs 9, verse 13, it says, Folly is an unruly woman. Foolish is an unruly woman. Undisciplined. A woman that's indisciplined. She is simple and knows nothing. The world, the women of the world are simple and know nothing. They think they know stuff. But they know absolutely nothing. They know absolutely nothing. So it says, do not follow such a woman. Do not follow her. Then verse 14 of the same chapter 9, verse 14 to 16 says, she sits at the door of her house. This is a woman that likes to be seen. Women of the world like to be seen. If you're rare, like I mentioned, you will not be found everywhere. It's not everywhere your foot should be. It's not every matter that your mouth should be in. She sits at the door of her house on a seat at the highest point of the city. She says, you're going to see me today. But some of us were so loud. If you don't want to see me, you will hear me. Our clothing is so loud. You will, you will have, you, I will have your attention somehow. Calling out to those who pass by, who go straight on their way. Let all who are simple, let all who are foolish, let all who are crazy, let all who are stupid come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, stolen water is sweet. But let me go back. This woman knows her victims. There are certain men that some women will not try things with. There are certain women that some men will not try things with. Men, men they know their victims. They know the, who, they can, who, who they can behave certain how. When you're in front of your pastor, you behave differently than when you're in front of some other people. When you're in front of your parents, you behave differently when you're in front of other people. So you see this lady, she knows who she's targeting. She's targeting the simple people. So the Bible is calling you foolish if you go after women like this. Now, some of us, we have friends like this. So even you as a woman, you have friends like that. You are foolish if your friend is like this. To those who have no sense, she says, stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. This woman is very secretive. She does everything the secret. Shh, don't tell anybody. Shh, she's very secretive. Now, I'm not saying that you should come and have everything on your sleeve, open yourself to the whole world. No. But this woman, but we, you know, we know those things that we're not supposed to do that we do in secrets. So this woman, she's very secretive, extremely secretive. But little do they know that the dead are there, that her guests are deep in the realm of the dead. Women like this are destroyers. They destroy homes. 
They destroy families. They destroy marriages. They destroy society. They destroy our kids. Because everybody says it's cool to be like that. Everybody says it's fun. To be the Proverbs 31 woman, it takes work. It takes diligence. It don't just happen because you write about it. It doesn't just happen because you wish it. You have to do the work. Like the same thing when you go into the gym, you don't just become muscular because you wish it, because you signed up. You have to keep exercising. You have to keep doing what you need to do, eating right to gain those muscles. This being a woman like this is very simple. It's very easy. But little do they know that the dead are there, that her guests are deep in the realm of the dead. God is warning us about being a woman like this. Don't be that type of woman. Now, some of us would be like, oh, I'm not like this, I'm not like that. But there's a lot of attributes that we just read that you may have. So they need to be shifted. Don't be like that. Proverbs chapter 12, verse four says, a wife, some of us are single here. So a wife, a woman, a person, of noble character is her husband's crown, is her family's crown, is her society's crown. But a disgraceful wife, a disgraceful woman, a disgraceful child, a disgraceful person is like decay in his bones. Spur people without shame, people with bad characters are like cancer to the bone. You are so nasty to everybody. Oh, I treat them the way they deserve it. They deserve it. You messed with me. You stepped on my toe. Mm -mm. I don't take masks. Oh, child, you like that? You let them talk to you like that? Mm -mm. If it was me, you should have seen what I would have said. You are like cancer to the bones. Good character cannot be bought. You have to work for it. Don't be a woman of the world. That is not what God has called you to be. Women of the world are so quarrelsome. What does it mean to be quarrelsome? To be quarrelsome means that you're constantly fighting. Constantly. Like, people know you as the village champion. They know you as the village champion. They're like, you better not mess with that girl because she's going to give it to you. You are, you're, like, you're always fighting. Every little thing. Being quarrelsome means you're moody or sensitive. You get mad about the littlest of things. That's me. I'm just, I'm, this is me where my weakness is. Where the littlest things, you know, when I was studying this, I was like, Lord, I'm exposing myself to you as well because I can't stand here and, you know, pretend I'm, I'm so good. Work with me. And then some things started to be, some things were being highlighted in my life. And then I start realizing that I do get upset when, for the littlest things. I'm so grateful for the journey he's taking me. But women of the world, we get upset when things doesn't go our way. We are so aggressive. They have aggressive attitude. They're so aggressive about everything. You can't even tell if that's a woman or a man nowadays based on how people act. They're so aggressive. They cannot be pleased. They're always nagging. Pro Proverbs 21 verse 9 says, It is better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a coarsome wife. Or share a house with a coarsome person. Or share a room with a coarsome person. God is saying, avoid such people. 20, chapter, uh, chapter 7 verse 15 to 16 says, A nagging wife, a nagging child. Now, I'm going to be reading a lot and you'll hear wife, 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 wife. Please understand that you have to kind of bring it to your level if you're not a wife yet. So don't just think, oh, this just applies to wives. No, it applies to you as well. So a nagging wife is like water going drip, drip, drip on a rainy day. You know that, you know, when we have our, faucet, our faucets going drip, 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 it's so annoying. You're like, can somebody shut that thing down? It is so annoying. And you'll go and turn it off, but it keeps doing it again. He says, how can you keep her quiet? 
Have you ever tried to stop the wind or ever tried to hold a handful of oil? A quarrelsome person is so annoying. You like that faucet that just go drip, 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 that people just want to get rid of you. It's so annoying. So God is saying, avoid such, such people. The women of the world are wayward women. For a prostitute is a deep pit and a wayward woman is a narrow well. Indeed, she sets an ambush like a robber and increases the number of unfaithful people. There are so many men who, and I'm not excusing them, who are in a situation outside of their marriage with women like this, where they're like, if you leave me, I'm going to come to your wife. I'm going to say this, like, I'm going to destroy you. We watch movies like that. And it increases the number of unfaithful people. Don't be like that. And because of them, people have to compromise. She makes like, like, <sighs> anyways, because of them, people, you know, she's like, you, you know, you have to do this. You have to do that. Don't be a person, a woman of the world. So God is warning us against all of that. 